going into a Mortal Kombat movie, all I was looking for was some great action and some cheesy dialogue, because you know you're going to get that in Mortal Kombat. And in that respect, it delivered. On the one hand, I was expecting the action to be a bit better. The action's good, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of action and it's solid, if a little bit iffy in the editing department. But I expected more out of it because of the hype that has been built up around this. It's gonna be pushing the boundaries of how violent it can be with the fatalities. In that regards, I was a little bit disappointed because after the movie ended, I really didn't remember much of the action scenes, of the fatalities, that's the big thing, Mortal Kombat, the kills. There were a few here and there that I was like, all right, that was pretty cool. But nothing truly jaw-dropping and all that memorable. I'd say that was the biggest letdown for me in terms of the action. Also, this is technically like a origin type of thing. There's not actually a Mortal Kombat tournament. There's plenty of fights, but they don't actually get into the Mortal Kombat tournament, which it's a similar complaint I had with the Detective Pikachu movie. It's a Pokemon movie. I wanted to see them catching Pokemon and, you know, be in tournaments fighting. And that wasn't there. And it's the same thing with here. I don't know what's up with video game movies not just going for what people want. In this regard, yes, when you go into a Mortal Kombat movie, you want to see violence. And this movie's plenty violent, but I really don't think it pushed the boundaries like it was hyped up to be. Now, on the positive side, the visual effects and the costumes and the practical effects were a lot better than I was expecting for this movie. I was expecting it to be a little iffy, but I was actually pleasantly surprised, particularly Sub-Zero's ice elements when the sets are just completely ice and the way he uses the powers. I thought that looked really good. So in that regards, I was actually really surprised at how good it was. I thought the effects were really well done in this movie. I don't know what the budget was, but they were very well done. Now, in regards to the story, as I said, they don't actually get into a Mortal Kombat tournament. It's more just like trying to get their powers and fighting other characters, but not in a tournament style like you would expect. Apparently, they're saving that for the second movie. The first movie is supposed to be pre-tournament, second movie is the tournament, and then they have plans for a third one, which would be after the tournament. Which I don't really like why these studios keep doing that with movies. They they plan out their movies as, as franchises, as sequels, and not giving everybody what they want in the first movie when you never know if your movie's gonna bomb or not. And nine times out of 10, they are, they are bombs. So that regards, that was a bit of a letdown. But what I was going in for was, you know, not expecting great acting, and that's there. The acting is nothing phenomenal. The writing's nothing phenomenal. The action's solid, it's, it's badass, it's cool. If not, it's, it's not very groundbreaking though, as, as I was expecting. They're gonna be the best fight scenes you've ever seen. That's what they were saying. No, they're not the best fight scenes ever. They are solid. In that regards, the movie does succeed. I don't have much more to say about this movie. I'm gonna give it about a 6.5 out of 10. Let me know what you thought of the new Mortal Kombat. It's currently streaming on HBO Max. As always, stay safe out there and keep enjoying cinema.